Creations. I'm just hopping on here to film another intro. I somehow I lost the intro to this video uh, while I was editing it. So, hey everybody, it's Jill from Angel Creations and welcome back to my craft room. I hope you enjoy the rest of this craft. Bye now. Okay, so now that I have all four of my frames empty and they are just left with the glass in them, I'm not going to be staining them or doing anything to them because I really love the wood uh, finish that they already have on them. But I am going to be using some E6000 and hot glue. I am trying to grow these bangs out and they're just not long enough yet to stay back and I don't have a hair clip but look this is that little Dollar Tree um, hair scrunchie that I got and it matches my shirt I don't know if you can tell on here all right so what we're going to be doing is and it is a hot one so not only is my hair bugging me but it's really really hot and I'm just getting sweaty out here. Real life. <laughs> All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to glue two of these pieces together. So I'm going to use a combination of some E6000, which we'll put down first because that dries last. So we're going to put a little bit of E6000. And you know what? I wish I had a little, here, let's use a skewer. I just don't like that big blob next to the corner. Get some of that off. We'll use some of it over on this side. A little bit too much there. You don't need to go crazy. Okay. So, saved a little bit of that. Now I'm going to also use my hot glue right next to it. And I'm going to glue my first piece like an L. And we're going to try not to squish glue out of the side seams, but if it does, just wipe it with your finger and wipe it on a paper towel because some of the glue smushed out the sides there all right now i'm going to do the same thing this one still has that e6000 on it so I'm thinking that if we just use our glue, our hot glue, the rest of the way, it should be fine. But not too, too much because you don't want it seeping out the seams. And if it does seep out, just take your finger real quick and wipe that down. You'll never even know. And then wipe it off. So now we have three sides on, and now we just have to glue this top piece on. Whoops. So before we do that, I think what we'll do is pull up our little things that are holding our glass in because we don't want those showing through. And we're just going to put a little bit of hot glue to hold our glass in our frame. Just a little bit of hot glue. And I'm going to do the same thing to all four sides here. This little piece can come out. If they want to fall out that's just as good I don't know if I can pull them out you can pull them out if you want to I don't know if it's necessary but I'm going to 
tip this over and glue this glass down now. Hope this is making sense. Just need a little bit of hot glue in there to hold the glass because these little black metal clips, can you see that? Um, are showing in our glass and we don't want that. All right, so now we're going to tip it over on the third side. Let's see if we can pull this one out. If it comes out easy, great. All right, so it's, they're coming out really, really easy. So might as well just take them out. Oh, we weren't glued in yet. Real. <laughs> real life, real life. That was not glued in yet. Moving, moving faster than our uh, glue. <laughs> moving faster than the glue. So I got a little bit of glue on that side, but that's okay. Let's get the glue cobwebbies off. All right, and then while we're waiting for that, we'll take these pegs out. And they might be a little tough. Nope, they came out really well. So I just want a little glue on this third piece here. Just have to hold my uh, have to hold my glass in there. All right, so much easier if you do this step first. So here is our frame. Here are the black things that we are trying to get out of there so that they don't show through. So easier to do this before you assemble. So take those little black clippies right out, easy peasy, and then give your glass a little bit of glue to hold it in your frame because you don't have those black things holding it in now. Make sense? So now we have it with a little bit of glue holding our glass in. And once that is set and it's not going to fall out, we can glue a fourth piece to our little lantern. And in the meantime, I'm going to try to clean up some of the mess that I made here with the glass falling out on me because it wasn't glued. This will have to be our back piece. Nobody will see that. Clean up these cobwebs. All right, that should be good. I'm hoping that should be good. So now we have to glue this house onto our top of the rest of them. So again, we're going to use some E6000. I like using a stick with this because it doesn't have a good top. So I like to use a little, uh, a, not an adapter, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Something to help me get this on because it's terrible. Sticky. Terribly, terribly sticky. You know, just something to help you get it where you want it instead of your fingers. Alright, that should do it. I'm going to put my top on here real quick. Let's wipe this off real quick. I'm a little stickler for my glues. I'm hoping this video isn't going to be too lengthy. Um, okay, so now we need a little hot glue. where we didn't put E6000. Let's just glue this baby right on top. And again, if you squeeze any glue, just wipe it off. And then wipe it off your hand. All right, so now we have like a little cute greenhouse kind of little house going on. 
we're going to let that sit up really really good and I'm I had two wooden blocks from the Dollar Tree this comes in this comes in a package of like six or eight they're just thin planks and this comes by itself this is a dollar twenty five and I didn't know which piece I wanted to use as a bottom piece so I, I still haven't decided yet and then I have um, this glass candle jar from the Dollar Tree um, or I almost used this glass ring from the Dollar Tree all of these oops all of these would work any little glass candle jar that you have will work I'm gonna put you on pause for a second I'm gonna let this um, dry and get a little bit more secure before I handle it and we'll be right back okay so this is pretty good I mean I wouldn't play football with it or anything yet I don't think we are going to need our glass pieces after all I mean you can use it if you want but I'm thinking I'm just going to make a little candle ring for inside and use it without because we have our glass windows here this is a candle no no this is a napkin ring from Hobby Lobby I think originally they're like four dollars but I get everything on half price I wait but that's just a uh, napkin ring actually and we're gonna use that and um, so we're gonna just skip <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. I have the worst frog in my throat lately. I think it's um, coming back from New Hampshire after being there for so long. I think I came back and the allergies in Florida are driving me crazy. Post nasal drip. I get the sneezes and the sniffles. Um, I'm, so I'm going to omit this from the project, but feel free to use that if you want. And then I decided to use my bigger block from my two pieces of wood. And I'm gonna cover that in Waverly. But before we do that, I want, well actually, I, I guess we'll do that first because that way it can be drying while we make our little wreath. So I like to mist my wood with a little bit of um, water before I use my Waverly Antique Wax. It just makes it go on better. It goes on thinner and it goes on, um, let's see, we need a, it goes on thinner and it goes further that way. Uh, I guess we'll use this one. So it's just a little bit wet. You, you, your wood's just a little bit wet and then you're just going to wax it up. It makes your antique Waverly wax go further and it goes a little bit thinner, which is nice so that it's not too, too dark because our houses aren't that dark. I'm just going to judge this up a little bit so that it's not raw wood. And then I'm going to squirt my sides better and I'm going to get my edges good. And you can go ahead and take a baby wipe afterwards and wipe a lot of this off if you like that look. I do. I like that look so that you get the wood grain. Gotta get my thumb out of there. Out of there. And we have one more side to do. All right, and then I'm gonna just take a paper towel and I'm just gonna wipe it so that it's almost wiped all the way off. Oops, we forgot our thumbprint over here. And like I said, you can use a baby wipe for this. That's weird, wiped right back off. Um, or a paper towel or a rag. And 
and there you have it. Throw that rag away, get out a baby wipe from my own hands. Okay, so now that we have Waverly Antique Wax everywhere, let's wipe that up. dry a little bit and we're going to work on our little wreath that's going to go around our Dollar Tree candle. So now we're just going to take some berries that I have laying around here from another project and I'm going to snip them off of this stick because there's just too many to work with on here but you can use the pip berries from the Dollar Tree. Um, that's what I would do if I didn't have these. I would use little pip berries. But because I have these, I'm just going to put a few little berries on my wreath. And what I'm going to do is try to work across from each other. So I just put some there. Now I'm going to take another stem put some on this other side. I'm going to cut this excess off though. I just want a little bit of these berries to show through the glass. And these are on a wire so you can bend them. The same with the pip berries from the Dollar Tree. So once you place them, uh, if you don't like where you placed it, you can bend it and put it someplace else. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? One more berry ought to do it. Let's cut this one a little bit shorter. Cut this one right off at the top here. And we'll put that one right here. Lift up a couple of leaves, push that right down, put those leaves back over it. And I'm just turning these all to go in the same direction. Put that off. Actually, we've got a little piece of wire. I'm just going to wrap it around my pencil and make a little tendril out of that. And I've got another one right over here. I'm going to do the same thing. Just wind my pencil right around that wire and make a little tendril. Like a berry vine would have. Alright, now I want to put this wreath on my wooden plank that we have antiqued up, but it's probably not dry yet. So let's give it a little quick blow dry here. Love this heat gun. It is one of my favorite tools in my whole craft stash. Um, I'm not going to worry about the sides as much as I am the top because I want the top dry enough for some glue. But this is always in my description box below and it's one of my favorite tools. It's like a 12 or 13 dollar tool from Amazon. And I'll always have the link to it in my description box if you are ever interested in it. I have several of them, actually. And I think that feels pretty dry. Give it a little fan real quick. A little fan. Alright, so now I'm going to pick which side of my little lantern is my front and which side oh you know what we got a little bit of glue that came through the seams over here and i said we'll clean that up later so i'm going to take a pliers and just pinch off some of it 
And then I'm going to just sand the rest of it down. We don't want to see blue gob there. So I'm just going to glue that, uh, just sand that down. All right. So now I think I will take my house and I think I picked this for the front. So now I'm going to glue this onto my wooden plank here, but I want to draw the corners so I know where to put my, I'm going to center it and then I'm going to, I'm trying to figure out which way I want it. I think I like it better this way. So I'm trying to center it up. And then once I feel like it's centered, I'm going to trace it with my pencil. I think that looks good. And that'll show me where to put my glue. Because I want to use a combination of E6000 again and hot glue. And how do you see that? Or you could use wood glue too. Um, what did I do with my E6000? Do you guys see it? Um, I throw things behind me all the time. Well, G. Williger, I don't see my E6000. Here it is. Here it is. I found it. Okay, so now I want to put a little bit of E6000. I'm gonna put E6000 on my corners. And then I'm gonna put hot glue. I lost my little skewer. All right, that looks good. Now, I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to go right down these lines where I drew with my pencil. Sore hands, sore hands. What was that song we used to have on the Commercials, working hands, working hands. Alright, that should be enough glue. And now we're going to just place our house right down as nice and neat as we can on our base. And then I'm just going to go around and I'm going to get any hot glue off with my finger. It's hot, <laughs> but it's what we crafters need to do. I'm just going to wipe it on my rag. Oops, hot glue doesn't come off like that. All right, so this is what we have so far. We have our little lantern. I'm calling it a little lantern. It's not going to have a roof or it's not going to be fancy at all. It's just four little houses that are going to be sitting on a shelf. You got to clean your glass better. And like I said, do your glue in your houses before you build your little house here. And then we're going to take our little wreath that we put berries on. We're just going to stick that right down inside our little lantern. Let me pull that up because some of my little berries are going inside where my candle has to go. So let me move those out of the way. So cute. Love this. Get our little tendrils showing. All right, I'm going to try. I'm going to put my little light on. This little light of mine. Dollar Tree little light. You see that? And it flickers. It's so cute. I'm going to put that right down in my wreath. I'm holding both together. And I'm just going to shove that right down inside my little lantern. How cute. 
And now, without dropping it, I'm going to try to show you. Can you see our little light in there? Here, I'll do it this way. But look how cute. Do you see how cute that is? That's going to be really cute at nighttime. If you want, you can put this little light on a Jenga block. Um, but I am just really happy with the way this came out. Just as cute as can be. Just as cute as can be. All right, well, this is a great time for you to give me a thumbs up. And sharing is caring. So go ahead and share this video with your friends, family, and social media. And uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free to do so. And if you ring the bell, if you want to know every time I upload a video, hit all. If you don't, don't bother hitting that bell. That's okay. You can catch me on the replay. So, all right, everybody. I love this little craft. I think it came out adorable. This is exactly what I envisioned. Uh, when I saw these little houses with their little glass window peeking, uh, just so cute. Really, really cute. Here, let me try to show you the inside again. Simple and sweet. Really, really simple and sweet. All right, this is a great time for me to say goodbye. And until the next time I see you, be good and do good. Bye now.